We are well into winter and the lawn care season is far behind us, but it's still a great time to talk about grass. Let's get out of the weeds. Thank you guys for joining me for yet another video. I hope you all are having a uh, really good Christmas season. Um, I know uh, things are going well here. Um, it's freezing cold out right now, but um, it's always a good time to uh, be out here talking about lawn care. And so the season's way behind us and we're not really doing much. For those uh, of us with cold season grass, we're literally in our off season right now. This is kind of the time of year where we don't have anything going on. We just kind of, we put our lawn to bed with our winterizer fertilizer here a little while ago. And then we're kind of just take it off until, until the spring. Now, what I want to talk about is recently I was back in Ohio visiting uh, my parents. And now in the channel over the fall, I did a big renovation project over at my parents' house to where um, they had some construction done where they had a big portion of their lawn was literally but just down to bare dirt. So there was no grass whatsoever. And so I did a project video showing me uh, putting down the seed, going through like all the process that I did with that kind of whole weekend that I spent uh, putting down everything for their lawn. I got a chance to go back to Ohio here this past weekend and man, I was absolutely blown away um, by how their lawn looked. So I got to get some footage just kind of showing you guys the results of what their lawn looks like now after the full renovation and literally we're at the end of the season. So I really wanted to just put this out here. I know we're not really doing much with grass right now, but I more or less want to put this out here as kind of an encouragement to those of you who are new into this that aren't really sure if the work you're going to put in pays off or, or what, but uh, you can have a nice yard very, very quickly. It does not take long to go from dirt to just a nice, beautiful, thick, lush grass. It just takes following a few key steps and you can get results very, very quickly in this. And my parents' lawn is proof of that. So take a look. So I'm at my parents' house here. And if you remember back a couple of months ago on this channel, I did a seeding job right over, just past Labor Day back in September. I did a seeding job here when my parents had a ton of just areas in their lawn because they had some construction done here that they just had no grass whatsoever. So it was a pretty good, decent sized area, a few thousand square feet in total. And so I came here over a weekend and did a full seeding job. And so what I wanna do now is show you kind of the final results of a successful seeding job, what you can get done in one season. I know a lot of times if you don't have any grass or your yard looks really bad and you feel like, man, it's gonna take forever to get this looking nice, this is what you can do in just a couple of months by hitting that seeding window good and getting really good watering. This is what you can do. Let me show you. So you can see here, we put in the walkway there, but you can just see there was literally no grass here at all. And you can just see, man, it's just a nice thick uh, turf here. And you can go and it just blends in perfectly with the rest of their, their yard. And then you can see there was no grass here on any of this section. This was all literally from bare dirt. And you can see the color is really nice. It's really thick and healthy. And it's, it's just looking great. And we're here in almost mid-December now. And so this is really a testament to going and seeding at the proper times with the proper temperatures and then making sure that you get a ton of water down. And so you can see here, you will have some spots that maybe don't get completely filled in and stuff, but as the grass gets bigger and healthier and stronger, it'll thicken up and start to fill in any spots that you think are a little bit thin. And then sometimes you may just have to go over a little bit in the spring of just a couple spots, maybe some didn't take as well. But you can see here, man, everything just took really, really well all the way through. So that really goes to show you that if you just put in a, a little bit of hard work and get the timing right, that you can have a beautiful lawn literally in no time. You can go from nothing to just a gorgeous lawn all in just a couple of months. It isn't something that takes years and years to do. So if you're brand new to getting into to lawn care, you can follow these nice simple steps and have a, a beautiful lawn very, very quickly. Now the key that I always talk about when on this channel with anything with new seeding, 
watering is absolutely critical. My parents nailed it here with making sure this got adequate water and it has allowed this grass to thrive. Had they been bad on their water, it wouldn't have mattered how good a seed I bought, how when the timing I put it down, it, none of that would have mattered if they wouldn't have given it the proper water, which they did and they see the results. And so now they can enjoy a beautiful lawn. Now some of you might be thinking, well, that sounds all well and good, but I didn't put down any seed uh, this year or you're brand new in the lawn care and you had no idea to even seed in the fall. Well, that's okay. You don't really, well, can't worry about it uh, too much right now because for most of us, we're getting snow and freezing temperatures and stuff now. So our lawns are pretty much shut down for the year and for the season. But you can do also get the same results in the spring. Now, spring seeding is going to be a little bit harder. I have done previous videos uh, on talking about spring seeding versus fall seeding but it's not impossible to seed in the spring. It's just your grass has a little bit more competition. So if you're somebody who's just buying a home or looking to get started in lawn care, this is the time during the off season where you can really start to educate yourself on what you need to do to prepare yourself for the upcoming lawn season. I know for me, I got started really late in the year, my first time I wanted to kind of start learning lawn care. And I spent the whole couple of months that I had where I wasn't doing anything by educating myself, watching uh, lawn care videos and just learning the knowledge. So that way, once it came time in the spring, I was ready to go and kind of had an understanding of what to do. Now, earlier this year, right before we started getting into this uh, lawn care season, I put out a video uh, called the four pillars of lawn care. So now I'll put a uh, link in the uh, top of this video here so you guys could click on it if you haven't checked it out. But if you're brand new to lawn care and you just you don't even really know where to even start, that is a great video to start with because I kind of I'm sitting down in my basement when I filmed it and I just walk you through some of the like four main things that you need to know about lawn care to have a great yard and literally beat probably 95% of the lawns around you just by knowing those four pillars of lawn care that are absolutely critical uh, to your success. And so take this time during these coming months. I'm not going to be doing as many grass videos now, obviously, because I can't really get out, get my hands dirty and start doing stuff because um, it's uh, all shut down for the year. Uh, but I will periodically keep putting out lawn care videos on just kind of uh, education and just kind of knowledge and things that I've kind of learned from my experiences here every so often, along with mixing in some kind of how-to videos and things like I've been doing for the Christmas season here. And lastly, I think all of you who have uh, subscribed to this channel, I'm, I started, I believe this year, uh, at the beginning of the year, I started with like 27 subscribers. I remember I've stuck at 27 subscribers for a very, very long time. And now I'm quickly coming up to 800 subscribers uh, just in this, this past lawn care season. And so the channel is really taking off far beyond what I thought so far. Um, and I've been getting comments and likes from people and kind of getting to have some conversations and I've had emails from people asking me questions and so it's really been a blast and so I really uh, appreciate uh, all of you who have been supporting the channel so far watching me uh, kind of just talk about what I've learned from lawn care and I hope that it's helped you guys and if you have ever had any questions um, about lawn care or, or whatever um, feel free to uh, email me here I set up an email just for uh, this YouTube channel um, so feel free to email me any kind of questions or anything you, you may have, um, and I'll, I'll get back to you um, and, and see if I can, can help you out or help you understand something you might not um, with it. And so we're all kind of in this together. I want everybody to have a nice, beautiful lawn and just to, to be able to enjoy it. So with that, I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful and a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys next time when we get out of the weeds and into a beautiful lawn. Thank you.